Hi everyone, it's Natasha, and as, as I had finally promised, or finally as I had promised, um, these are some chipboard albums that I have already cut up and ready to go uh, for available for sale, because uh, um, I need a new cell phone. My phone fell, cracked, and yeah, it's kaputski. So, I have this album, and I think it's called Flourish Album. It's a Sizzix die. I don't know if it's still available or not, but I decided to cut a few of these. It comes with this really large, and it is a substantial album. It's over seven and a quarter inches long. It has this um, really cool flourish on the end and two ring holes. So it gives you really nice real estate um, for photographs. It also comes with this label. Uh, two layered flower. And this is all out of medium chipboard. Um, the flower center, which you could totally glitter up or epoxy, whatever you want, and a heart. So that's one. Second one is the house mini. And as you recall, for those of you who watch my channel and have seen the Wild Rocker Crafts channel, I had sent this um, chipboard pieces out to the design team uh, for one of the monthly DT challenges. So this is the little house mini, and it comes with five pieces of the chipboard, medium weight chipboard, a little chimney, a smoke, a piece of rickrack that you could use as awning, or there's this awning that fits maybe for the cover, a door frame, uh, flower and two different shape hearts. So that has five pieces and all the little accoutrements that come with that die cut. And then the last one is this um, cute um, mason jar, but there are six in this one because it's a smaller item. So it's a um, mason jar, looks like that. And then to coordinate with it, because this is just a solitary die. I did cut out some of these really cute mason jars from Spellbinders and they are embossed in the, and this is light craft paper and these would make really cute little tags so you can either make an album by binding it or you can use these as individual tags, add them to your recipe books, whatever you'd like. So these are the three that are available. I will ship internationally, just keep in mind that chipboard is heavy so if you are in Canada it still might be doable. I'm not sure how internationally or sorry ac across the ocean this would do. Um, the information will be listed in a link below to my blog which will have a PayPal button where you can select one or multiple of these to purchase. Um, shipping information for the states will be included in the PayPal button if it's an international shipper please just contact me so I can give you a shipping quote I want to make sure that it's fair and um, you you know that it's not an unreasonable shipping so if you have any questions for me please leave me a comment otherwise thank you so much for watching